Has it been difficult finding sparring partners for this camp? Uh, has it been difficult finding sparring, sparring partners for this camp? No, we've been managing to get it working. Obviously, we've got a full stable ourselves. And, you know, spar with Kelbrook the other day, which was great. Um, so, no, we ain't struggled for sparring partners. Um, who's your favourite boxer from the past? My favourite boxer from the past, I'd probably have to say Arturo Gay, Nigel Ben, Ricky Atten. Quite aggressive styles. Favourite songs I was working out in the gym to get pumped up? Favourite songs, I'd probably have to go Funky House, Garage House, um, maybe some Little Baby, Little Dirk, uh, but a nice variety. Right, dream matchup, past or present? Dream matchup, Golovkin versus Nigel Ben. Um, how often do you SNC? How often do I SNC? I do my strength and conditioning two days a week. Would you ever move to the UFC? Would I ever move to the UFC? Of course I would. Imagine getting my hands on somebody in them small gloves. <laughs> What's the largest animal you could realistically sell a tape to a lamppost? What's the largest animal I could realistically sell a tape to a lamppost? I'd probably have to go... Uh, ooh. Um, to go um, a llama or a donkey a llama's bigger so I probably have to go a, a llama yeah um, how to fight without fear how to fight without fear uh, <laughs> they come hand in hand to perform you have to have fear you must have fear I fight out of fear um, when I get in the ring um, they come hand in hand. You fear the unknown. You fear the outcome. Never fear getting hurt. Uh, never fear... Fear the fight itself. I fear the outcome. I fear um, the unknown. You got to come hand in hand. Um, any tips for beginners? Any tips for beginners? Work on the basics. The basic fundamentals. If you work on the basics, you can't really go wrong. Uh, which is something I've done, I skipped the fundamentals by accident and then I had to go back and then my whole pro career is learning the fundamentals like the jab, keeping your hands up, the slipping, the moving, the ring craft shit. If you didn't box, what sport would you want to turn pro as a kid slash teen? Uh, probably, um, probably table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, I was good at table tennis, you know. No, no, I'm not disputing savage. it, innit? I'm just... savage. Man. I'll have you out if you want. I'm like, what's, that, what's, that, what's that, what's that, what's um, that movie where he's the ping pong champion? Borat. No, it's not <laughs> Borat. It's one of them movies. It's like one of them movies. What, do you know what I'm yeah. talking about? How much of an improvement have you seen in the boxing since the day you started? Oh, bundles. Different fire. Every single camp. I'm on a different fire. It's all learning. You can't help but learn and grow. I'm far from the finished article. But as long as I keep working the way I am, you know, there's no ceiling to my career. Do I regret not having a massive amateur pedigree or doing a lot as an amateur? Um, no. Mm, no, I don't. I, um, I, um, I enjoy learning the way I'm learning now. Do you think the baby will affect your future of boxing? Congratulations, by the way. Of course it won't. I mean, to know that I'm going to be a dad and um, a father to my own boy enough, change your perspective on things. And, and it just makes you want to do better. Makes you want to do better. Who would your dream opponent be, past or present? My dream opponent be? Uh, my dream opponent? Um, I'd like to have had it with Cotter. Just to, uh, he's like one of my all time favourite fighters. Who is your favourite heavyweight, past and present? Past favourite heavyweight. Um, 
probably have to go Mike Tyson. No, because cool. of his savagery, unpredictability. Um, and current, current. There's a few I like. What Fury stands for. Um, and the way he operates, AJ's ability and power is probably the is up there. I think he's the all-round complete package in terms of power, agility, speed. Um, yeah, Tyson Fury is very awkward, um, but then I'd have to go Dylan White for his his fear no man. Yeah, what? Let's have it attitude with anybody taking fights he doesn't need to take. Um, he's a fighter through and through. What do you feel sets you apart from the rest of your division? Your cardio, your work ethic, etc. <laughs> I'd have to go my power. Um, time and time again, my power's got me out of trouble. Thankfully, <laughs> um, my power's got me out of trouble. I probably have to say my mindset, uh, the will to win. Now, when I see these other fighters get put down on the deck and they get back up, they get on their bike, or they get worried, they get, and they ch it changes the whole fight around for them. If anything, I get up and you know, it makes me want to have it even more. So um, I think it's just that mindset, that rawness um, is, is I think what separates me. Right. Yeah, so I've answered a few of your questions there. I've got to go smash out my gym session. When I've finished and done, and I'm warming down, I'll answer all the rest. Peace out, hey town. So where have you come from today? Guildford uh, City, Boxing Club. Travelled up from sort of near Kingston. Nice. Out for winter. Just uh, looking to turn pro soon. And um, yeah, I'm just excited really. Buzzing really. I'm happy to be here. Good opportunity. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Buzzing. Yeah, so I'm amateur. Just turned 18. Uh, boxing, Guildford City, Boxing Club. I've won a couple of national titles so far. Can pro any time soon? Couple years, three, two, three years. Right. You excited to come down to Spark Corner? Yeah, it'll be a really good experience. And I've been down there a couple of times, sparring some other boys. So it'll be nice to mix up with Connor now.
It's a G from Terra, from Terra, the gangsters twist. If you smoke like I smoke, get it high like every day. And your ass was a burst up to a freak at your break on me. Is Kel Brook the best person in the squad? We've got Kel Brook, Mitchell, we had when I was sparring Ricky Burns, John Ryder, um, pretty so. Then you got the likes of Cordina and Wardy. And our little list goes on John Doherty, Felix Cash. Um, who, else, who else is there? Uh, Rick. You said Ricky Burns. Oh, yeah. um, John Doherty. Yeah. Believe it or not, Spy John Doherty. Yeah. Craig Richards. We just all, we just all mix it in. Are you sure Craig, yeah? Craig don't want that smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your goals in life outside of boxing? My goals in life outside of boxing? To be happy, man. To be with my family. Those are probably... Um, those are probably the most important things for me. Be happy. What has the injury recovery process taught you and what advice would you give? <laughs> Patience. Massive. Also, the willpower, the mental toughness. It all, um, all comes hand in hand when you have an injury, nothing you can do. Um, the devil starts attacking you, bombarding you with negative thoughts. They often you need to shut down as soon as they come in, otherwise you can run with them. And then you won't end up in a good place. So just keep it mentally stable. So it's um, one of the things, I mean, we all struggle um, as it is. So I chose to use the time off to, to really benefit myself and my career, my, my relationships, my family. So many things that boxing takes away from you, but also gives you so many things. So. And what it's taken away from me when I'm in training camp or um, in training, fighting, I made up for in my time of obviously I couldn't see my family so it was hard but you know, you've got to make sacrifices to get ahead in life. Yeah. Um, Garcia versus Campbell prediction. I think Campbell stops him. See how mate, take care. See you next week. I think Campbell stops him. But we'll see what Garcia's made of. What's your predictions, John? I think for Campbell, for Campbell, uh, Garcia. Garcia. I think Campbell stops him. Yeah, I, I, mm, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Go for our popular opinion. Go for our popular I can see that. Yeah. I don't know. I, Garcia looks proud to me, man. I can see Campbell stepping on him. Um, Campbell's performance on the back of Leonardo's and Lomar. I think based on their performances, he beats Garcia. Um, I think they're at the crossroads where. Um, you know, Campbell has got that pedigree, but has the Loma fights and the Leonardo fights had a toll on him? I think um, 
come the, his fight with Garcia, we will find out, don't we? Yeah, I, I can't, I still want to think of a fight with Campbell to compete him. So, he should be alright, you know what I mean? But well, he might be, like I said, the kick training company, he might be a big one. Yeah. Even then, the levels he's been operating at, and Garcia's been operating at, are two different levels. That's exactly my point. So I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Alright, best way to reduce muscle soreness after lifting weights um, so you can train the next day? Massage, Epsom salt baths, stretching out. I'd probably say all of them. Um, your prediction for Crawford versus Brooks? <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope Brooks does it. Um, but it's a matter of what Brooks got left, I'd say. He's sharp. He's, you know, he's an unbelievable world weight. Um, one of the best world weights to think the country can do. So, um, and then Crawford's, you know, like up there with a pound for pound for me. So it's an hard fight, but I'm back, I'm back in the brick. Um, who would you enjoy fighting most, like Sean Porter? Who would what? Who would you enjoy fighting most out of Sean Porter, Errol Spence Jr. and Crawford? <laughs> you have to go Sean Porter. <laughs> I'd have to go Sean Porter. See how I get on against Formella. <laughs> yeah, Formella. Formella, Porter. Porter, and then Bosch. Whoever's at the top. What do you think you'll do after boxing? You know, since I'm a uh, gold of looks and, uh, you know, I've got a spill. Boxing pundit, commentary. Um, yeah. I think uh, I'm you know, do model crash helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I model crash helmets and balaclavas, John reckons. John, I'm the best looking guy in the gym, mate. <laughs> it's not hard, is it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You've been three years, you So you're right. What do you think you, uh, was it? Best huh? fight you've ever watched? Best fight I've ever watched? Um, probably Ben McClellan. Ooh. Not the outcome, obviously, it was uh, sad, but um, I think the grit, the will to win, the determination, the hunger, the attitude, the mindset, all of them factors um, play part in that fight from both parties. Favourite knockout of yours? Favourite knockout of mine? I'll probably have to go my last one. I like, got knocked out bad. Like he was gone when I hit him and then he stumbled back and then I knew the ref was going to stop it but then I still, still threw. Um, yeah, and then Juicy Coivella, the one before that, knocked him out good. Yeah, that's probably my two, my two recent knockouts, probably the best ones. Um, what fight, not including yourself, would you want to see the most and that hasn't been made already? I hate Jay Fury. Um, I'd like to see White in with them. AJ's, the Furies, the Wilders, I like to see White Wilder, White Ruiz. And if any fight White's in, you're guaranteed entertainment. Don't care what nobody says, you cannot sit down on your seat. Spence versus Crawford, who takes it? Spence versus Crawford. I think Crawford. I think Crawford beats Spence. Um, your pound for pound top five. Pound for pound top five. Javonta Davis. Terence Crawford, Danny Garcia, Tefemio Lopez, and Mikey Garcia. Um, best three fighters in the UK. Best three fighters in the UK. Favourite three fighters or best three fighters? Best three fighters. Best three fighters. Best three fighters in the UK. <laughs> I'd have, yeah, me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have to go, um, I'd have to go, um, Joe, you know it's all the prospects coming through. Prospects slash contenders. Um, obviously, you've got the likes of Ryder, um, who's in my stable. That's not me being biased. You know, he, the fight with Adam Smith proves it. It's one of the best fighters. Um, and then, I, you know what, not being fu funny, I'd have to go Felix Cash, um, as well as up there. Um, I'd have to go my old stable. We're, we're all knock it, knocking on the door, do you know what I mean? And then you've got, um, all of us are at different stages of our career, but I'd say probably we're one of the best stables in the UK.
Uh, who would win in a street fight, you or Vidal? <laughs> Give the weight to Who's the Chisora? I'm right, thank you. That's funny enough. I do love it. I hope Chisora does it. Does your dad give you tips? My dad always gives me tips. Of course he does. Um, helps my personal life. More so, where it really counts. Thank you guys for all your questions. I um, appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and shown me love. Again, CBTV is just to give you guys an insight to my day to day, who I am, what I do, my training routine, the insight to my life, because I think sometimes people forget I am human. Uh, I have my own battles, I have my own good days, my own bad days. And so, this is just an insight for you guys, really. Um, someone's at the door. Yeah. Someone's getting it. So, yeah, thank you guys. Please like and subscribe and share. Uh, this has been something I, I enjoy doing. <laughs> Again, it's just you guys seeing what I do on my day to day, and which is training. So, um, thank you guys. Tune in, hashtag CBTV. Like and subscribe, share and comment. Bosh.